Richard, shares in the Swiss bank UBS trade at a huge premium to their competitors. They're on about 1.5 times book value. Uh, the rest of the sector is on about one times in, in Europe. So it's a big premium. We've had numbers today from UBS for the second quarter. Do those numbers justify that huge premium? In some ways, yes, and in some ways, no. So in the ways that they do, profit is up over 53%. Net, net income is well up on a year ago, and that's because there's no litigation, no nasties this time. So a relatively clean quarter. Um, but there's more than that. There's good performance in wealth management. Their revenues are up 8%, and more importantly, their gross margin, which people watch closely, is up a little bit. And their costs are down quite nicely in that division. So there's a nice bit of bang for their buck coming through to the bottom line. So in, plain sailing and wealth management then. How about the investment bank? Investment banking, uh, lower single digit growth, so about 4%. And unfortunately, their costs are rising a bit higher. And we're led to believe that those those costs may abate a little bit and form a lower proportion of, of income in the second half. But the fact is that they're running a bank at a fairly high cost to income ratio. And I know that you shouldn't compare wealth management with investment banks, there's no direct comparison. You need loads of capital for one and you need very little really for the other. But even so, it seems that Mr. Amorti, Sergio Amorti, the CEO, needs to maintain his discipline on costs particularly. Going back to your original point though about premium rating, the one thing to think of in, in UBS though, is it's very high common equity tier one capital ratio of 14.4, which is well above its peers. And that gives a slight hint that we may be about to see some uh, capital management payout activity. Well, I'm sure shells would welcome a big fat dividend, but that, a lot of that will depend on the Swiss regulator who haven't shown themselves in the past to be particularly keen about banks having less rather than more capital. Absolutely. This is how the Swiss regulator operates with its Swiss banks. And there's also political pressure in Switzerland, don't forget. But the reality is that UBS is in a far better padded position than, say, Deutsche or even Swiss peer credit Suisse, which is on about 10.3, so 400 basis points less in the ratio than UBS. So I think there is justification for UBS to be um, seen to be a little bit pregnant with a, perhaps a richer payout policy. Well, Richard, it looks like UBS is comfortable, but not too comfortable. Thanks very much.